Hi, welcome everyone um, to my first live stream. Um, yeah, so today I'm going to do some troubleshooting with Packet Tracer. And I think what I wanted to show you today is how to use Packet Tracer, uh, mostly for students that wants to experience how to use network tools and simulate it. Uh, so yeah, this is my first live stream. So um, just shout out to my um, sponsors or um, uh, um, Y&R designs that might be this decent so that I can, you know, showcase obviously um, some branding and stuff like that. But yeah, so, um, but what I want to talk today about is mainly about um, how to use Cisco Packet Tracer. And, um, and that's the reason why I'm doing it live. And then also just to go go through a demo and show you how to do it and not to spend a long time on, on the streaming channel. So first I'm gonna play a video um, just to give an overview of Packet Tracer. So you just understand where this comes from and why I'm doing it, All right? Whether you're pursuing a job in technology, exploring your career options, or you simply want to expand your skills, gaining network building experience hasn't always been easy. Until now. Meet Cisco's network simulation tool, Cisco Packet Tracer. This virtual lab environment allows you to practice networking, Internet of Things, and cybersecurity. With Packet Tracer, you apply real network building skills and gain valuable experience on your very own computer with no hardware needed. Cisco Packet Tracer is an incredibly powerful learning tool with multiple modes that enable you to explore the vast world of networking. In simulation mode, you dive into how a network really works. You create a logical view of your network, configure your devices, and follow how data packets travel across your network. You can even explore what's inside each packet for deeper insight. After that, Physical mode puts you in the virtual lab to see how your logical view translates into physical devices and cables. You'll practice setting up your own device rack and selecting the right cables and ports. Packet Tracer has a built-in intelligent tutor as well to give you hints along the way, but only if you want them. Once you have the hang of it, take your abilities even further by creating advanced networks with IoT devices, integrating Python code, or practicing your network automation skills. The best part is Cisco Packet Tracer is absolutely free. It's easy to ramp up with our short Getting Started with Cisco Packet Tracer course. Try it out today at skillsforall.com, brought to you by Cisco Networking Academy. Right, so, so that overview was just to show you like what Cisco Packet Tracer is and I'll sort of do a demo um, just to download it. Um, and this is just using a virtual machine. And that kind of just shows you how to do it. And with that, I'll just play some music in the background just to just suit the whole environment. Right, so right. So what I'll do is let's go to the demo. So what we'll do is we'll go to our, um, let's call it our virtual machine. And what I'll do is I'll just go and type Cisco Netacad um, login. And with this, you need to have a Netacad account. Um, so what I'll do is I'll just log in. Um, if you don't have an account, you obviously um, either log in and then you can up sign up for a new account. But if you have an existing account, um, then that's, that's good for you. Right. So what I'll do is I'll just try to sign with my normal account. And then what I'll do is, then I'll just try to download it because this is a virtual machine that I'm doing it on. Right, so now I need to specify my password. And obviously this is where you have to put in your password or you just sign up for a new account as you see there at the bottom. Right, so I just need to remember my password here. Right. So when you log into Cisco Netacad, right, what I'm logging in now, you then go to resources and then you'll see the download packet tracer. And then you'll need to download packet tracer. And then from there, you go and you click on the download. You obviously first have to look at your version, type of version that you're using. So what you need to make sure is if you have a 64-bit Windows operating system, 
always 32 bit at all up to you but you need to look at your requirements which is the amount of ram you have and that availability will give you the obviously the ability to install packet tracer you have different operating systems also so we have windows um, desktop you have ubuntu for linux and then you have mac os also and those are the different um, applications to download and then you also have the previous versions that's available also for you to download so what i look at now i'll download the 64 bit since i know my virtual machine i have the 64 bit operating system on and here you can see it's busy downloading and the file size is about 222 megabytes okay so we'll just wait for that to be completed and then while that's busy i'll just check if my operating system is correct so what i'll do is I'll open up my file explorer, right click on PC, go to properties. And in there I can see, okay, I've got four gig RAM. So I am meeting the minimum requirements. Um, and if I have Windows 10 operating system, so that's fine. Um, at least I know that my memory would allow me to run this uh, packet tracer. So while that's downloading, uh, to see the progress, taking longer than expected because i'm running a virtual machine so yeah that time will take long so while it's busy um, i'm just going to show you what the existing one looks like while that's downloading so if you have packet trace installed just like out of there If you have packet tracer installed then what you can do is you can open packet tracer and then afterwards you can um, start your topology your network topology what will happen is that um, let's wait for it to open you will be presented with this screen right and this will be cisco packet tracer where it's already installed in my case i've already installed it and if you look at about you will notice that um, it shows me the type of version that i downloaded which is 8.1.1 and also that um, it's the latest packet tracer. With that, after that, you can go to file and you can go to open samples. Packet tracer normally comes with samples to assist you and help you with previous um, network topologies. So you can go into networking and you'll find all these subfolders, which then gives you the ability to start any of those topologies. Or you can go to infrastructure um, automation if you want to start any programming with APIs. You can go into cybersecurity and you can find all those um, samples there. You can go into IoT and you can also find those samples there. And the last, you get programming samples as well. Now, you can do any of that or you can start your own topology. And that is obviously for the next video. I think for now, I just wanted to show you how to install it. And by the speed of my network, um, looks like I'm going to have to either copy the file across the VM because the download takes long. So I'll just quickly do that uh, while we're busy here. So just looking for my download folders quickly. So what I'll do is um, I will just copy packet tracer straight over from my workstation and then paste it here on the desktop and that will go much quicker. All right, here we go. So this packet tracer done um, because the download will take forever and I'm not going to wait for that download to complete. So what I'll do now is I'll let that continue downloading and I'll open Packet Tracer. And then you will be asked this and you say yes to that. And then you'll just say accept the agreement, you hit next. You choose your program files where you want to install it in. And then you hit next and you continue create a shortcut. If you need to create a shortcut to your desktop, you then hit next and you click install. That will take quicker than the download in this case. Um, and that will allow us to demonstrate and how packet tracer works. All 
Right, this packet tracer done, we hit finish and then we launch packet tracer. We'll be presented with this screen at the first time and it asks you about multi-user. The multi-user is just that if you have another user that logs into your PC and mostly this is when you work in a lab, a computer lab, and you have different PCs um, that different users log into um, normally, then you would ask that could, you would then select multi-user so that it actually don't save your profile. However, if it's your own PC, you would say no, um, and then it will just create it for that one profile that will log in all the time. When you're done, you then obviously your Windows alert pops up, and for that, you just allow your packet tracer to work through your Windows firewall. The firewall basically just blocks certain um, EXE applications, which is executable, to allow it not to um, connect to the internet and do things. But if you would allow it to communicate on the network, you then select those two ticks and you say allow access. Then it's going to present you with two ways. You can either log in as guest. However, guests can only save files up to three times, and that means that you're not a Cisco user. So if you had to copy Packet Tracer and you log in as guest, that's not gonna, it's gonna help you, but it's gonna only allow you to save three times. So what you want to do is you want to say, keep me logged in, and you would rather want to log into your Cisco account, which I will do now. Right, so after I log in and I select it, keep me logged in. Okay, I just need to make sure my password is correct. Hmm, let's see if there's something missing. Trying it again. Here we go. So now what you'll see is that you've logged in successfully and now you can start obviously uh, configuring packet tracer. You will notice that this is a lower version that I downloaded um, because I just wanted to copy it because the download is still busy downloading. And now you can start building a topology. You can drag your devices onto your, onto your uh, logical topology creator um, or your switches or your routers. You can connect them all together and that's obviously another video that I'll do next, but this is just showing you how Precket Tracer works and how you can start building your network by adding devices and adding end user devices as well, uh, where you can add a PC and the PC then connects to your router if there's a port available. Uh, and then that's how you can connect Packet Tracer. And then what, when you're done, obviously with this, you can then connect those together and you can start your own little network. Right, so this is what I wanted to introduce today. Um, so thank you all for watching um, and I hope you found this informative and I hope this helps you um, next time with other um, upcoming videos that I will do um, live. Um, just as quick show cost um, and just to quickly show you how you can do certain things um, which you struggle with normally. Um, and you can leave me uh, comments in the comment section if you like to on a comment on anything. So thank you. That's all I wanted to do. Um, I hope you found it interesting to see how packet tracer works uh, for those who who needs to use packet tracer um, like i said i made this channel uh, mostly for our university students um, and also learners um, that wants to learn more about technology and free tools because this allows you to learn more about networking without having to install um, really real network equipment and you can use the simulator to do that right thank you